the phones, the Samsung Galaxy S5 features an FHD Super AMOLED 5.1 inch display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and a pixels per inch count of 432. Following this is a 2.5 gigahertz quad core processor. Now the other side of the coin here, the iPhone 5S features a Retina 4 inch display with a resolution of 1136 by 640 and a pixels per inch count of 326 and powering all this is the Apple A7 chip which is 64 bit and does feature the M7 coprocessor. Now the display looks marvelous on both phones here but I felt the extra 100 pixels per inch on the Samsung Galaxy S5 was significant and it just made my content look a lot better than on the iPhone 5S. So both phones feel great in the hands but the Samsung Galaxy S5 kind of shocked me as I wasn't really going in thinking that it would feel super great. But after coming out of the event, I felt like the phone felt really solid and it felt a lot better than the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Not with just the size, but the backing on there feels like the original Nexus 7 and it just felt like it was a lot better as a whole. Now the Apple iPhone 5S and similar to a lot of other iPhones is purely aluminum and it does feel very solid in the hands. So the Samsung Galaxy S5 does feature a 16 megapixel camera on the rear and it also does support 4K or Ultra HD video up to 30 frames per second. On the iPhone 5S there's an 8 megapixel camera with an f2.2 lens. And on the front of both of these devices, there's a 2 megapixel camera, which will be great for Skype, selfies, or just plain old Snapchat. So one of the new features on the Samsung Galaxy S5 is a fingerprint scanner embedded within the home button, similar to the iPhone 5S. And to be honest, it feels just as great, and I was able to unlock my device very quickly, and it just did not give me much hassle. This is very similar to the iPhone 5S, and I just felt like the fingerprint scanner will give a whole new light to security, and it was just plain old cool. So the fingerprint scanner is a new addition to the Samsung Galaxy S5, and setting it up was very simple, similar to the iPhone 5S's fingerprint scanner embedded within the home button, and I just felt with the Samsung Galaxy S5 fingerprint scanner, it was a little bit more responsive than the iPhone 5S's, but overall, I like the new security option. In terms of durability, we see on the Apple iPhone 5S that it is made out of aluminum, and if you drop it, it's bound to be scuffed. But with the brand new Samsung Galaxy S5, since it is made out of different materials, it's a little bit more durable, and a new thing with the Samsung Galaxy S5 is the fact that it's waterproof for uh, up to 3 feet in up to 30 minutes. In terms of software, the Apple iPhone 5S features iOS 7, while on the Samsung Galaxy S5, it's going to feature Android 4.4.2 KitKat at launch. So in terms of availability, you can hop down to your local Apple store or local carrier to go and pick up the brand new Apple iPhone 5S in either space gray, white silver, or gold, while the Samsung Galaxy S5 will be available sometime in April in blue, white, black, and gold. Thank you guys so much for watching this video where we briefly compared the brand new Samsung Galaxy S5 to the already available iPhone 5S.